So let me talk about the data flow architecture for 3D datasets, and especially for 3D Point Cloud that I will take as an example. What you want when you design a complete system to solve a specific issue or to solve a specific uh, need to create a deliverable for a client, usually you go through a series of steps. When we design 3D data systems and architecture, you will have at least five steps. The ultimate system that I use has 10 steps, and I share with you the complete system just down below. But I want to focus here on the data flow architecture. So what is very important to look after is that whenever you go from one node to the other, the middle point is actually standardized. So it's easy to switch any module if you need to upgrade any component. So let me give you an example. You have the input data that is a LAS file, right? So you have a specific modules for EO, so handling that. Now you pass that to a pre-processing stage that wants to read tile your point cloud so that you can then thereafter process it through a deep learning architecture that will take one tile at a time. If you don't make sure that the data that flows from the EO block is standardized, you may have issue whenever you switch the file format. So for example, if your LAS file changes to a PLY, then the rest will fail. So what you need is to make sure that any entry point of any node output something that is super standardized. What I recommend is working with an object as you computing um, and programming level uh, language. So if you are using Python, you could use a NumPy a structured array to handle all of your data and work in chunks. But having that for all the, the tasks will make it super easy for you to handle the complete flow without any breaking point. I hope this is useful for you. If you want to see the complete system, just down below the video. If you want to extend your knowledge and be ready to create new innovation, check out the GOAI course at learngeodata.eu. See you soon.